Picking the right racket for single is a very common question for badminton players. So if you're a badminton player and you play a lot of single, I will now give you some tips and some tools on how you can decide what racket is best for you if you're going to play a lot of singles. Stay tuned for the double videos, it will come out very very soon. So before we start, hit the like button and the subscribe button because that's just how YouTube works. They will love my videos if you do so and I will love you as well. Basically we have three things that matters when it comes to deciding the racket. We have something called the balance point, we have something called the weight and stiffness. That is basically the, the three things that matters when we want to decide the best racket. It's not about any fancy words or anything like that. It all comes down to the combination of balance, the stiffness and the weight. Let's just run these uh, things through. We start with something called the stiffness, and that's basically how much is your racket able to bend. The more it is able to bend, the more power you actually get when hitting the shovel. And the more stiff it is, then you need to know that you should be able to generate a lot of power with your upper body. So that's why the stiffer racket is, the more advanced the player tends to be. The more able the player is to generate a lot of power when hitting. If you're not able to hit that hard, then I would suggest a very flexible racket. It will just add up some power to your strokes. For example, a player who's not able to generate so much power is hitting so the shuffle racket will actually bend and kind of give that extra little whiplash or tramp line effect into the shuffle. Alright? So let's talk about the balance. How you just mind the balance is that you play with your finger, you try to find something about the the uh, middle of the racket and you can see that this racket is actually head heavy that means when I place my finger around the center it will tip towards the head which ultimately gives me more power but it will lack acceleration that means it, it will be more difficult for me to move the racket very fast around but it will be easier for me to generate more power. Normally for single players I recommend a more head heavy racket because the game pace isn't as high as in doubles. In doubles it's much about moving your racket around very very fast. You will ultimately have more time between each stroke in single and that's why you want that extra power because you have more time to move your racket and get ready for the next shot. Great and then we have something called the weight of the racket. The weight is this little U number and you can categorize them into a lot of different U numbers. The lower the U is, the more heavy the racket is. And the higher it is, the lighter it is. Basically, I would recommend you to find a racket between 80 to 90 grams because that gives you enough weight if you want an even lighter racket than 80. I would basically say that it is not suitable in the same way for a single. So let's break it down. If you want a racket that is suitable for single, I want it to be kind of head heavy, so that means it will bend towards the racket head. I would also say that it should be a bit heavier than the doubles racket. I would recommend around 80 to 90 grams. And then the stiffness is dependable on your own skill. If you want to improve your game, I would say your minimum should be medium flex. If you are an advanced player, I would recommend you to pick a stiff racket. Head heavy, around 80 to 90 grams. The stiffness should be dependable on your skill. So I have put some links in the description about single rackets that I would recommend if you're looking for a new racket. Of course, I'll also be live in the comment section to try and answer your questions about a racket if you have any. And if you want me to suggest a racket to you, I will be referring to the rackets that I already uh, recommend. If you want me to help you the best way, I want you to uh, tell me something about your game. Uh, what is your gameplay? Are you playing single or doubles? And what is your skill? And then I'll try to put the output back. Also consider to become a member of Shop Live. Remember that I do it all for free just to give you some tips and advices for your badminton career. So if you want to give something back, you can consider to hit the little join button below the video. Then you will actually support my work and then I will love you a lot. Hit subscribe if you haven't done it already. And then if you liked it already, consider to go to some of my other videos and like them as well. And just continue to do that all the day. Because then YouTube will begin to favor me more and more and more. 
Just kidding. That's all for me. Have a nice weekend.